It's Disney Wish Day. We're, we're so excited. Yes, we're so excited. We're heading out for the maiden voyage of the Disney Wish. We've been looking forward to this since the day they opened it up and we booked it with our friends. We got postponed, but now it's actually here and we're heading out to Port Canaveral. There she is. We're almost there. Let's do this! All right, time to check in, and we get to go to the concierge check-in this time. How exciting! All the way down at the end, all the silver people, all the gold people, all the platinum people. No, 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 we go all the way down, because we fancy this week. All right, we're going over to the concierge lounge before it's time to board. We got pictures before we get over to our lounge. So right over here past this little frosted wall, we've got our concierge lounge area. A lot of people hanging out here because we're all just waiting on them to let us in. We showed all the documentation we needed, got through security, took some pictures because, I mean, we're here. We're getting ready to go on the mm -hmm. wish. We're so excited. We are so pumped. And we are concierge. This is the first time we have ever been concierge. We've never experienced this before, so it's all new for us. And it, it might be the last time too, because it's really expensive. But as we checked in, they took us off to the side and gave yeah. us like gold stickers. And now Feels we're so in this fancy. like fancy concierge lounge. So as soon as they start boarding the ship, we're getting on. I think I see people moving, so we should be getting on any minute now. There is also a second concierge lounge. We were first in the overflow room, but this one, yeah, it's a little full in there. Ooh, whoa. Oh my goodness. She got a wand. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Rapunzel and Flynn. We got our Disney wish wishing wands. Actually, I got two wands. And we're kind of waiting to see what happens on the stage soon, hopefully. Just kind of uh, exploring the ship a little bit, looking to see what we can find. We're trying to work our way up to our rooms and see if they're ready. Hello. Oh, this is a cool bar. Welcome, welcome. Hi there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, hyperspace lounge. We're going there later. Shopping. Lots of shopping. Gonna have to come back here after we're at sea and everything's open. All right. Let's go ahead and go over here. Hello, to the elevators. The elevator buttons are buttons. That's awesome. All right, looks like the keys are already out. So we can go straight to our stateroom. All the way down here at the end of this hall. Look how beautiful this room is. Little mermaid theme. Incredible, and check out the windows. Oh my goodness, this is the best part. Here on the forward of the ship, gigantic ocean view windows all the way across looking down onto the deck there. That's amazing. 
We have done several room tours already today, including that beautiful two bedroom suite. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Go and watch. Amazing. Watch the whole tour. It was phenomenal. We don't want to put the whole thing in here because it took forever, but yeah. so awesome. And now we're absolutely starving. And there's a restaurant open on board, 1923, one of the sit down restaurants. Super pumped about it. And I think we're gonna get some food. Yeah, and they're only open till two, so we have a limited time. So we're gonna do this and then get back out there and get some more room tours. We've got a bunch more to go. <laughs> This is beautiful. Got a pretty good looking lunch menu here. And we didn't have to wait in that long line, so that's kind of nice. We're having drinks for everyone today for the sail away. A little bit hot out here. Just waiting on the sail away party to get started. Cheers! Everyone showed up for this. Oh, hello Disney Witch! Are you excited for your new fun and magical adventure? Are you ready for some more fun and excitement on your main voyage? <laughs> then it's time to meet a very special friend. So everyone, please make some noise for our vice president and general manager of Disney Cruise Line, Sharon Siski! Well, hello everybody! Are we excited or what? <laughs> it is truly an honor to be here today to welcome you on board the maiden voyage of the Disney Wish. We can't wait for you to experience everything that we have on board for you for this sailing. Everything from our new immersive experiences with dining, entertainment, and everything in between. We are so excited um, to have you all here, and this is truly a special moment for us, and I know it is for you as well. So what I'd like to do is propose a toast to a fabulous cruise, to all the magical memories that you will make on board this sailing and many more to come. Cheers. Wishes do come true.
about 6.10. We have been going nonstop since we got on the mm -hmm. boat. Oh my goodness. But we have so many room tours, which is amazing. Finally finished all of those. We did stop for lunch for a little bit. Yeah. And then of course that amazing sail away show that was so good. phenomenal. I the best it. one we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And they used a song from Brother Bear and that made me so it happy. It was so good. I will say lunch was delicious for the appetizer I got to try. <laughs> and then Alyssa and mom did bring my food back to the room. I ate it in between a couple room tours and then we kept doing room tours. We even did a couple after the sail away party. I think we got like 13 of them. You can find them all on the channel. They're in the playlist. They're linked in the description, all that good stuff. Now we've got to hurry downstairs to the theater because it is time for the first variety Yay. show of our sailing. Very excited about this. We love the variety shows. I know they're not as big and grand as the theater shows, but they're still a lot of fun and really great to go see. So we have a special entrance for concierge guests on deck two. Okay, so we've been doing room tours and everything else. We went and saw the amazing variety act. We have not actually opened this yet. So we're going to do that. Obviously we could see this. This is actually really thick, which is really nice because hopefully it won't break as easily, but it does say made in voyage. So happy. Totally free. Oh my goodness. All right, what do we have? Oh my. I love a nice bag. It's so pretty. Wow. That's gorgeous. And I was told by someone else. Okay, that's cute. There's a little cruise line on there. Someone else said there was something. Sure enough, there's stuff in here. Okay, so normally there's lanyards outside the door and or in the room and we noticed we didn't have any. There's a lanyard. Oh, oh. Okay, that's really nice. <laughs> I like that. Maiden voyage lanyard. So this just goes on the back of a chair to hold your towel in place. All of this was free. We are about to head into the concierge lounge. I stepped in here for about 10 seconds earlier today, but we have not looked in here. They have snacks, treats, I assume seating. I don't actually know. So we're very excited to check this out for the first time. It'll be really fun. We're not actually gonna eat much because we have dinner in like an hour, but it still be cool to check it out. I see food and smell coffee. I smell a very nice coffee. I will be here. Oh I will be here a lot. I can have all the good coffees I want. I don't have to go to Cove. This is gonna save me so much money. Look at that. I'm gonna drink my weight in coffee while we're here. I mean, productivity juice, you know. Desserts. Lots of colorful desserts you can't eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's over there? Drinks. That's a drink cooler. Oh my goodness. Look at all the drinks. Okay, well the same things they stock our fridge with, plus some other stuff. Wow. So in addition to all the treats, they must have some hors d'oeuvres or something. Oh, those are over there. Lots of hors d'oeuvres too. I just want a few little snacks, I think. So maybe some cheese. Oh, a cheese plate. There's some shirt, some uh, antipasto down there, some meats. There's some fruit, good stuff. So I have no idea what's up here. There's a restroom up here. And then what's in here? Is this a bar? Oh, this is the concierge only deck. We have our own bar and deck and pool. No, hot tub, not a pool, still. This is awesome. We are now heading to dinner and we are super hungry because we burned everything off we had mm -hmm. for lunch. We just had a little snack in the lounge, a couple drinks, and now we are heading down to Arendelle. It's the show tonight and Alyssa's all ready for Frozen. Should be a lot of fun. This ship is so confusing because it's nothing like the layout of the other ships. We have no idea where we're going. We just keep getting turned around. It's a mess. This is really cool. Olaf's portrait on the wall. The restrooms are themed here. They've got the family portrait. 
It's a very long line to get into dinner, but it's moving very, very quickly. The portholes are frosted with snowflakes. At least we've got lots to look at while we're in line. It's the clock. All the different paintings that Anna was looking at in the song, Do You Want to Build a Snowman? Hang in there, Joan. This restaurant is amazing. It's like you stepped into Arendelle. Also, the dining rooms on this ship are much, much larger than on the other ships. You can just tell walking through. I always like to point out details. So the plates have Elsa on one side and Anna on the other. The entire table, one side has clear white glasses and the other has bluish teal glasses, like the two sisters. Am I doing a boo boo out there?
engagement, we sure do have plenty to celebrate. Oh, you bet we do! So, everyone, please kindly raise a glass of whatever you are drinking. Come on, raise them up! Raise them high! And help us in toasting the Navy couple. Repeat after me. To Queen Anna and Kristoff! To Queen Anna and Kristoff! Thank you for joining us tonight. So nice to have you all with us to celebrate. Thank you for having us. I recognize that. So Olaf and Oaken come around to the table. And Olaf talks. I hope you all ordered dessert. Oh, we will. You got some really fun little details on the wall, like Anna and Elsa's dolls from when they were kids.
clean up all the mess that he made with the snow. <laughs> Poor Oaken. Oaken, snow melts. Do you see that you need the smallest broom and the smallest pan to clean it? And they make Oaken clean in the dark, too. That's okay. He Anna likes a tiny castle. I think this will be Oaken's new business venture. Oaken's cleaning services. Charge by the hour. In my slow, slow season, yeah? <laughs> In slow, slow season? The very slow season. Still going, sweeping up the snow. Somebody needs to get that man a swiffer. But what's the celebration without a little magic? Is anyone ready? Much fun! I loved the show. Oh, that was there so were good. Fun parts. There were amazing parts. The vocalist, that violinist at the oh, end. Man, so good. Great ender and a literal way to end on a high note. So yeah. I loved that. That was perfect. Oaken was really cool too. He Incredibly was great. Incredibly funny and just fun to have going around. Mm -hmm. The way he was talking and think the words he would mess up were just they were perfect. I loved it. And we did enjoy the meal as well. Mm -hmm. I did start off with that flaky crust scallop and that was very unique um i somehow didn't read all the flaky crust part so i just thought i was getting scallops there were two inside which was good and the flavor was good it just seemed like a really big waste because there was not much in the entire flaky crust but they did bake it perfectly and i did enjoy it i did get the cheese and ham tart that was delicious mm -hmm. it had an apple and pear compote with it which i thought would be weird but perfect combination. Mm -hmm. I ate the entire thing. It was exactly what I wanted to start the meal off. And then I followed that up with Sven's carrot soup. <laughs> it was a very thick carrot soup. And so I wasn't sure how I felt about it until I tried it. Incredible flavors. Whatever bread they made the croutons with was perfect. It was sweet. 
just a little bit. It was a crunchier bread, so it soaked up the carrot soup. Absolutely love that. A really great start to the meal. And then for my main entree, I did get that dry rubbed pork tenderloin. Wow, it was very juicy and whatever that dry rub was, my mother-in-law tried it, Robert tried it, mm -hmm. our friend tried it. All of us agreed that had to be the best thing on the menu. It was delicious. I really want to ask them where they got that yeah. rub because I want it for my smoker grill <laughs> at home. It was just so good. However, I also very much enjoyed my mm -hmm. meal. I got the ribeye with a twice baked potato, broccoli and carrots. Excellent ribeye, really well cooked, almost like a prime rib. It was so tender, which is weird because I expected it to be a little more gristly as a ribeye, but no, it was perfect. Ate the entire thing. It was a ton of beef, but it was so, so good. And for dessert, I ordered the chocolate dessert, hoping maybe they could accommodate that. Unfortunately, there was too much food coloring on it, so I couldn't have that. So instead, they did bring me the apple tart and I took one bite and did send it back. It was really gross and I don't know why it was, but I was not the only one that sent it back tonight. Everyone that ordered it except one person at our table did not enjoy it, so I don't recommend ordering that. Yeah, it's covered in a caramel. I also ordered it because mm -hmm. I didn't know she was gonna get it. The caramel has a weird flavor to it. I don't know I what don't it was. Know. I usually love apple and caramel and it just was not a fan of that. Mm -hmm. I also got the little pancake dish that they had, a really pretty presentation. They were good. There was just kind of a light dessert there, not much to it. They were tasty, but the absolute star of the show, the must get dessert in my opinion, was the butter cake. That was so, so good. Very rich, very creamy. I love the butter cake. I did try someone else's chocolate mousse dessert that they had. It was fine. It wasn't bad. It was a solid chocolate dessert, but absolutely love that butter cake as an ending. And then we never did get to talk about the lunch we had in 1923. Yeah. It was really nice and peaceful for us because we were on the concierge side. I was so grateful for that because the other side was so busy. So mm -hmm. we had a nice, quiet, enjoyable meal. And oh my goodness, the first thing I got, the appetizer, the salmon, it came with like a mustard sauce and lemon. It was amazing. I should have ordered two or three because I enjoyed it so much. I just didn't know I was gonna enjoy it that much and I had already placed my order for other stuff. That is a must. If you like salmon, if you like fish, you need to order that. Yeah, it was definitely the star of the appetizers. I got the empanada. Absolutely nothing wrong with the empanada. It was really good too, but I mean, that salmon was just so, so perfect. I, of course, did not get to eat my entree. I got the <laughs> beef tenderloin and it was delicious when I ate it about three hours later, two hours later, I finally got back to the room and ate it because Alyssa brought it back to the room for me. It had great flavor. I love the jus that it was there with but I do wish I could have eaten it, you know, yeah. hot. That would have been a little better. And I got the pasta, which was very, very good. I really enjoyed the flavor with that. Again, it's pasta, so it's hard to go wrong with it, but I did enjoy it, it was very good. And then for dessert, I got that molten chocolate lava cake with hazelnut gelato. Mm. And I don't know if they have changed suppliers, but it is not super, super, super sweet anymore where it like hurts your teeth when you've had too much of it. Both my mother-in-law and I said it was just a very pleasant chocolate flavor. It was not overpowering, it was not too rich. It was just right and we loved it. Sadly, I of course missed that. I would definitely say when you get on the ship, go to 1923 for yes. lunch. If you're concierge, you've got access to the kind of less crowded mm -hmm. side, but everyone else can go over to the Roy Disney side. Mm -hmm. Just wait in line, it's worth the wait. Enjoy a nice meal before you head to your room and then get out started on all the activities on the ship. We were so late getting out of dinner after sitting around talking to our friends and everything, we missed, apparently, the Kiss Goodnight. They do a Kiss Goodnight, the lights change in the evening at 11 p.m. every night, so we're gonna try and catch it tomorrow night. We should be able to get down here for it. Really pretty though, I love the chandelier all lit up like this. So we're making our way back to our room and we walked by this little corner near Mickey's mainsail on deck five saw the artwork here on the wall and thought, wow, that's really cool. I bet they're selling that artwork. And then we saw the kiosks over here. So these are just like the kiosks they have at Riviera, where you can purchase at Riviera Resort all the artwork you can find in the resort. And it looks like you can do the same here on the Disney Wish. So like here's the Moana backdrop that's above the headboard of the bed in some of the rooms. And then you have some of the artwork from the walls, like the Little Mermaid art from those rooms lots of different things that I haven't seen anywhere yet. So I'm sure we're gonna find some as we explore the ship. You've got a couple different pages of options here. Looks like most of these are from the staterooms, but I know for sure the Marvel one has gotta be from the Marvel restaurant, which we haven't been to yet. Looks like we've got the complete Disney Wish collection. Oh my goodness. All the different panels from the different 
sections of the ship. There's six pages of these. Oh, wow. You might be going home with some artwork, or at least ordering it to have it shipped home. So if you tap on one of the pieces, you can choose your paper or canvas, whatever size you want. Let's go with large on paper. And then you can choose what type of frame you want. I don't think you have to get a frame, but you do have that option. If you hit remove, it takes it off. You can see the pricing changes as you update everything. And the small ones, I got a little cheaper there. If you go with a canvas, of course, it's gonna cost you a little more than paper would. But whatever option you pick, you can check out here and they'll ship it to you after you get home. It'll take a couple weeks to get there and you'll have the Disney Cruise Line artwork from the Wish at your house. There's a pretty reasonable shipping fee included there. It has the expected turnaround time. And this is just an example of one of the international shipping options. I've stumbled upon karaoke tonight. Everyone's having a good time. We have a swan tonight, it's so cute. And of course, some chocolates. Gotta have those Dove chocolates here in the room. <laughs> I actually like these better than the Gear Deli, personally. Well, I broke down and ordered some room service to end the night. Even though I had good desserts at dinner, I wanted some cookies and a Mickey bar. Let's be honest, I just got it because the Mickey bar. Definitely the way I wanted to end the night tonight. <laughs>